my name is Melanie, I'm the Head of Education for Illamasqua and today I'm going to show you how to do a classic red lip. So I'm going to be doing the lip look on the lovely Hannah and I've already prepped her skin with foundation but I've also prepped the lips as well so I've put a little bit of lip balm on, I've blotted it and that's just going to condition the lips and make the lipstick a lot easier to apply. So for the lip look today, I'm going to be using Midnight, which is an anti-matter finish. And I love this finish because it sits between a glossy lip and a matte lip. And what that means is you're going to get a classic red lip that is almost like a satin finish. It's going to be super comfortable, but you're still going to get a kind of matte finish to the look as well. When it comes to applying a red lip, I like to use a concealer brush. Um, the reason for this is you've got a, you're going to get a lot of product on there and you're, it's going to allow you to really apply a lot of it and get a really clean line. What I like to do is really load the brush up with a lot of product. And then if you could just open your mouth a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get right into the edge and drag the lipstick round. Okay, so for the top lip, I've already put the bottom lip on. You just want to press your lips together. Perfect. And then I'm going to go in right in the inner corner and drag the product round. And so what happens is, you're using the edge of the concealer brush to actually create a perfect shape with the lipstick. So what I always like to remember when I'm applying the lipstick on somebody is that the head can move and sometimes that can really help you when you're applying it and trying to get it super precise particularly with this side as well. So I always get the model or my clients kind of bend their head and then it just allows me to be able to get right into this corner, which otherwise can be quite tricky. And then when it comes to the Cupid's bow, again, I'm using, this is almost like the perfect shape for getting that nice kind of M shape. And so I just like to press it down and press it down here as well. Really getting lots of product onto my brush, making sure that every part of the lip is coated in Midnight Lipstick. Okay, so I've finished the application of lipstick. I've blotted it just so it keeps it a little bit more matte and taken off any excess. And now I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of highlighting Beyond Powder in OMG. And I'm just gonna place it right on top of the Cupid's bow just so it gives the illusion of a little bit of a plumpness to the lip. So for a super precise application, I'm gonna use the small buffing brush just because we want to be very precise with where the highlighter is going. And I am literally just going to apply it to this M shape here. And I'm just dusting it on, I'm just pressing with my finger just to make sure that it's diffused out. And you just need to be careful not to disrupt the shape of the lip. I'm just going to go in just to make sure it's still crisp there around that Cupid's bone. 